celebrating six months of sobriety this weekend. Congratulations. How have you arrived at this point? Thank you. I um, Well, I actually started drinking when I was about 14. Um, I started to go into town with my friends and would go to the big market because um, obviously Newcastle is a, a, known as a big party city. Um, but when I was going out, it wasn't about getting drunk. It was more about the, the social aspect of it. But then when I went to university and when I became a holiday rep, I, my drinking just kind of spiralised out of control. Um, and obviously it was normal to drink when you were at work. Uh, I was in a relationship as well with someone who was a really heavy drinker and he was actually really, really violent. And he hospitalised me. I um, ended up with um, a brain injury that nearly killed us. And to deal with the trauma of that and from other traumas as well, I became alcohol dependent and I was drinking every day just to, to get us through the day for years and years. Yeah, you've spoken to me about two things which have been sort of vital to your recovery journey, your higher power and, and being part of a recovery community. Yeah, when I came out of hospital, I actually went to a recovery service in Newcastle called Oak Trees, which is run by someone called Val. Um, and they, this is kind of based on like the AA programme, the 12 steps. But when I first went into recovery, I didn't think that I wanted to be there. Um, I hadn't been anybody for so long. I, don't, I didn't know who I was or what I believed in. And one day I actually found myself at the cathedral. I don't know how I got here. Um, but I remember crying at one of the altars and somebody came and spoke to us and I have never ever seen that person again. I, I actually believed that they worked in the cathedral, um, but they spoke to us and what they said to us actually made sense. And for the first time ever, I felt like somebody was listening to us and that I belonged somewhere. And when I went into the recovery rooms, I also got that as well. And now I, I believe in something because I haven't cheated death three times for no reason. And I don't want to block stuff out anymore with drinking. And I actually embrace all the emotions that I have. And I love being alive. Um, and it's crazy because for so long, I was in so much pain emotionally, physically, and mentally. I honestly just wanted to die. And now I'm just so grateful for the peace that I have each morning when I wake up, the friends I've made in recovery, the rehab and recovery services in Newcastle, and especially for the cathedral. Karen, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us this morning. <laughs> 